Oh, basket, basket, basket. Oh, basket, basket, basket. Oh, basket, basket. Will you stop that? But I gotta do my basket, Chan, or I won't make the shot. It says ritual. Ritual, ritual. You throw the ball and it either goes in or it doesn't. End of story. She's doing it. She's doing it. Who's doing what, Gus? The swinger girl. She's gonna go over the top of the swing set. And she's doing it right now. Oh, boy. I've never seen her swing this high before. Yeah, maybe she's really gonna do it this time. She is, you guys. I can feel it. She's gonna shatter the rules of gravity, overcome the physical world, boldly go where no kid has gone before. Yeah, right. She's tried going over the top a million times. This is just gonna be million and one. Swing, 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 She, she, she didn't make it. <sighs> Once more, our hopes have been dashed on the rocky shore of reality. Can we just go home now? Poor Swinger Girl. I feel so bad for her. Oh, come on. What'd you guys expect? She didn't do it because she couldn't do it. Nobody can. Now let's just forget about it and... Hey, where's my basketball? Oh, man, I must have left it back on the playground. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. The kid going over the top? It just wasn't meant to be. <gasps> guys! 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 I, I, I saw her! She did it! Swinger girl went over the top! What? But Spinelli, that's impossible! Well, she did it, okay? Come on! It was amazing, you guys. Amazing! I was stooping down to pick up my ball when all of a sudden I saw her. She was right over... But she was right here a minute ago. I saw her. Well, where is she then? I don't know. Unless... Unless what? Unless she really did break on through to the other side. Yeah, that's it. When she went over the top, she must have disappeared into one of those, you know, other dimension thingies. What? Spinelli, I think you're getting a little carried away here. This can all be explained scientifically. No, you're wrong. She's gone, you guys. Gone. And she's not coming back. Anybody seen Swinger Girl? The kids in Miss Frohley's class said she never showed up for roll today. There's got to be some logical explanation. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Everyone, please move back and away from the swing. I repeat, back and away from the swing. Thank you. Uh, Spinelli, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Theodore. I'm preserving this special area. Why? So it will never again be trampled upon by the feet of my fellow kids. After all, this is where it happened. This is the swing that carried my swinger girl over the top. And no one must ever play on this swing again. Hey, Nina, free swing! <gasps> you little snot! Didn't you hear what I just said? Why, I oughta... But I won't. She wouldn't have wanted me to. Just don't get on the swing. Okay, kid? Yes, ma'am. There's a good little fellow. Uh, Spinelli, are you feeling all right? Of course I am, Vincent. Why do you ask? Well, normally you would have just clobbered that kid. Clobbered? <laughs> oh, no, my friends. That was the old Spinelli. The new Spinelli clobbers no one. From this day forward, I shall live my life as Swinger Girl lived hers, never hurting anyone, never causing trouble. Farewell, my friends. I must tell the entire playground what I have seen. This is bad, you guys. Real bad. She's completely delusional. Look, I know Spinelli better than anybody, and trust me, by tomorrow morning, she'll be back to normal. And so, my friends, always try to remember the lessons the great swinger girl taught us. Never swing too hard until you're ready to jump. Never look down until you're all the way back. And always, always keep trying to go over the top. Because, friends, if you don't try, you'll never make it. Poor Spinelli, making a fool of herself in front of the entire student body. Yeah, and she's not even making any sense. If she's not making any sense, why are all those kids listening? They're just being polite. I mean, who'd be nutty enough to take her seriously? Excuse me, you guys. Mikey, what are you doing in that hat? Helping Spinelli. You know, ever since she saw Swinger Girl go over the top, she's been making a lot of sense. Ah, hello, Brother Michael. Have you brought the special headgear? Yes, oh, great and wonderful, Spinelli. Here they are. Excellent. Let it be known from this day forward, any kid who wants to follow Swinger Girl's teachings gets a free hat! I'll take one! Me too! Here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I can't believe Spinelli and Mikey won't eat lunch with us. I asked them, but Spinelli says she has special business to attend to. 
Special business, huh? Well, I'm gonna find out what's so special about it. It is said that Swinger Girl never waited until dessert to eat a cookie and never finished a meal before drinking all her milk. Therefore... Uh, Spinelli, can I talk to you for a second? Not now, Theodore. But it's important. Oh, Theodore, sweet, gentle Theodore. You only think it's important, but what we are doing has true significance. We are trying to reconstruct the way Swinger Girl ate her lunch. Hmm. Now for the carrot sticks. Okay, so Maggie and Spinelli don't want to associate with us right now. It's not the end of the world. Well, sure, we can always get a game of kickball going with a couple of other kids. Oh, yeah? Well, check this out. No need to push. Everyone will get a turn. I heard about a kid who wanted a new bike, made a wish at the swing, and got one the next day. Well, I heard about a kid who could only get C's, then one day he touched the swing, and he's been getting straight A's ever since. I'm going to wish for a new pair of skates. I'm going to wish for a puppy. Move along, move along, keep it going. Spinelli, what are you doing? Isn't it wonderful, Theodore? Kids from all over the playground have come to experience the swing. But, but... Hey, Mikey, you think you could give me cuts? Cuts? Well, I've always wanted a pony. Sixth graders! <gasps> Great, King Bob's coming. Now listen, Spinelli, just don't say anything, okay? If King Bob hears you talking like this, who knows what he'll do. Which of you fourth graders is Spinelli? I am. I hear you've been going around the playground telling kids that Swinger Girl went over the top and disappeared. That's correct, Robert. And now, a bunch of kids don't want to play games anymore. They just stand around talking and wearing funny hats all day. Indeed, it is so. Then I got just one thing to say. What's that? I take a size seven. Swing, swing, swing. I don't believe this. Every kid in the playground is into this Swinger Girl stuff except us. It's as if the entire school has abandoned reason and rationality. Well, at least we know the truth. Right, Vince? Vince? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What? Well, maybe Swinger Girl really did go over the top. Maybe she did swing on through to the other side. It's possible, right? Not you, too. Oh, man, it can't get any worse than this. Hey, guys, she's doing it. She's doing it. Who's doing what, Gus? Valley's going over the top, and she's doing it right now. And so, my friends, as I leave you, remember to live as Swinger Girl lived. When you walk to school, always take two steps forward and one step back. Sure, it'll take you longer, but you'll see more of the world that way. Spinelli, wait! What are you doing, man? Preparing to follow my Swinger Girl into the next dimension. But, Spinelli, you could fall off and get yourself killed! Hey, it's a chance she's gotta take. Go ahead, Spinelli. Swing on through to the next dimension. Will you guys quit with that next dimension stuff? It didn't happen, okay? Oh, but it did. I saw it with my own eyes. There she was, swinging higher, higher. Then finally she reached the very top of the swing set and disappeared into a blinding light. Blinding light? But, Spinelli, that could have been the sun in your eyes. Oh, no, Gretchen. My poor, simple Gretchen. It was Swinger Girl breaking through the barrier. But, Spinelli, how do you know? I know because I know. There's only one way to know something, Spinelli, and that's by your senses, from what you see and hear and smell and feel. Not so. There is another way to know, and that's by what's in here. And what's in here tells me that Swinger Girl did go over the top. She swung on through to the other side, disappeared into another dimension, and she's never coming back. Never! See you later, Mom! Hi! Swinger Girl? Is that you? Hey there, Spinelli. What's going on? I thought you went over the top and disappeared. Over the top? Oh, you mean last week. <laughs> nah, almost made it, but then my mom showed up, so I jumped off and went home. Oh, yeah. Where have you been all week? On vacation. Missed the whole week of swinging, but it was the only time my dad could get off work. Got this real neat plastic statue of Liberty, though. But that means none of it was true. Here's your dumb hat, Spinelli. Yeah, thanks for nothing. But, but, I was sure. I was so sure. You okay, Spinelli? Yeah. It's just, I guess I wanted to believe so bad that I got carried away. You guys must think I'm a real idiot. On the contrary, we're actually kind of impressed. Impressed? Why? Well, some of what you said was kind of out there, but a lot of it was really cool. Yeah, like never hurting the guy next to you. And always trying to go over the top. And never giving up no matter what. Those are good ideas, Spinelli. Really good ideas. Well, maybe. <sighs> Listen, if you guys don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a while, okay? Sure, Spinelli. We'll see you later. Never give up trying to go over the top. <laughs> You're right. Hey, Swinger Girl, mind if I join you? Sure, pull up a swing. 